Welcome back. Now in this video, I want to show you how to create your own Prezi presentation um, and then we can go ahead and begin recording them into videos. So if you're more comfortable with PowerPoint, you can go ahead and just use PowerPoint. That's fine as well. Um, but I'm going to show you in this video how you can use Prezi. So what you want to do is come over here and you know in, um, sign up with a free account. You can click on the link below to um, come straight here. And then what you would do is you would basically sign in and you come to this page and you click on plus new Prezi or create new Prezi and I use Prezi quite a lot it's quite cool it's really fun as well when you start creating your presentations you're gonna enjoy it a lot okay so what you wanna do now is select a template so the cool thing about it is they've got basically done for you templates and like basically every week they put out new templates as well so here's the latest ones you can go into more templates and you can check out all these other templates as well so um, once you find one that you want to use for your presentation, you can just simply select it. So I'm going to go with this Big Ideas one, the Big Idea, and just double click on it, or you can create, uh, click on Use Template. Cool, so as you can see, here is my um, Prezi presentation. And it's really simple to use. Now I'll quickly go over the main features. On the left-hand side over here, you'll be able to see that we've got these um, slides. And this is simply the way, you know, on PowerPoint where you can go through the slides, it's the same thing, but what happens in Prezi is that they zoom around um, the canvas instead of just going, you know, from slide to slide horizontally or vertically. Um, it goes from, you know, point to point. So you can create slides where you can zoom into different um, places on the um, canvas. Cool. So that's the main one over here you can see. So with the templates, they come with done for you um, slides. So you can just simply go in there and add in your own text. Um, and it's really simple to use. I'll show you how you create text. Um, you can, if you want to create a new text slide, you simply double click, double left click anywhere, and just you can add in your text. And that's as easy it is, as it is. And you can simply click on the text, click on the hand button, and move it about where you want it to be on the, on the presentation, or just delete that. Um, over down here, I'm, it says click to add title. So let's go and click on it and add a title. So let's say how to create a presentation. Okay, now with this text, I can go ahead and make it bold by clicking over here, italic, um, so, you know, simple kind of controls. You can create a, a little background if you click on that button there. And if you want to make that kind of shorter on the sides, you can do that like so. Um, or just deselect these ones. And you can go ahead and change up these font styles as well. If you want to change the color, what you want to do is double click on the text and then go ahead, whoops, and then go ahead and select a color like so. And you about to see that was my text like there. So I can click on that text and move it and position it in the middle. Roughly about there, I guess. Looks good to me. Okay, so what you can also do is we just want to kind of basically go through this presentation. So we can go, this is our first slide here. This is the first slide of our presentation. If we click on this one, it goes into the second slide and we can go ahead and just click on the, the title or and click on edit text and we can go and say um, first sign up at Prezi. Dot com. Okay, so that's our first step. There's my title for there. And that text is okay. Maybe we're going to change it up actually. Maybe we'll add a background as well. Okay, that's looking okay. <laughs> I'm going to show you some other ways where you can make up um, different colors and things like that. So again, you can double click or click on that own text box there and um, go to prezi.com. Okay, and if you haven't gone to prezi.com, make sure you go and sign up there. You'll really enjoy it. It's actually really, really easy to use. And um, as you probably can see, it's really easy to use. You don't really need my tutorial. Um, <laughs> but I'm going to show you some cool things that you can do with Prezi as well. Okay, so maybe if you want to add an image in here, what you can do is click on the Insert button up the top. It's pretty self-explanatory. And you can see the Image button. And what you can do, they give you an option to choose an image from Google. So let's say we want to choose an image, a Prezi image. So I'll type in Prezi, hit the Search button. And what you're about to see is we've got these Prezi images. Now the best thing to do is probably go get um, an image that has a transparent background. It just looks better, so you can type in maybe .png, so it finds images that have transparent backgrounds, and just drop that on there. Hopefully this one does have a transparent background. Oh, it doesn't. Okay, so um, let's have a look. I think maybe they've got these new effects as well. Maybe it, it comes up with a... Um, a solution for that. Let's have a look. So if I click on the enhance button, I'm going to see if there is some kind of transparency thing over here. Illuminate. Okay. So it allows you to, you know, change up the colors and things like that. 
Um, this is just a new feature I think they've put in maybe even this last week. Um, I'm just going to cancel that actually. You can add in frames. Let's go and add a frame actually. It may look better. So this kind of it's kind of like Instagram. If you've got Instagram, um, you'll be able to see you can add in cool frames like this. Let's try and f that one looked quite cool, so I'm going to apply that one and save that. And it's just updating. Cool, that looks good. So go to Prezi.com. I've got this nice border around my image now. Um, you should, there should be some PNG ones. Let's have a look at this one, just to have a quick check. And what you can also do while that's uploading, you, yeah, great. So this one is a transparent background. As you can see, it's got no white border on there. So if I place it above, you know, on images, it doesn't have that big white block on there. So that looks really cool. Um, I'm just going to delete that. We don't need that. I've got this one here. Okay, so you can also upload images from your desktop by simply selecting Select Files. And you can go and grab a cool image. Um, let's go and grab this rocket icon um, and just add that from your desktop. And to get some cool images, you can go to sites such as graphicriver.net and they can buy some images like this. Okay, so here's my first slide. Now I'm not going to zoom around anywhere on the slide. I'm just going to go to the next slide now and create my next text. Okay, so the next thing is to um, click on plus, whoops, where am I, what am I doing? Click on plus new Prezi. So that's the first, oh my goodness, can't even spell, plus new Prezi. It's the second step we need to do. Okay, there we go. <laughs> cool, that's our second step. I'm going to add a border on that as well. So let's go and click on this button here. And what I'm going to do is type in, just for an example, type in more text. Now what I'm going to do is um, hit Control D and I can duplicate that. Control D. And this is the quick kind of shortcut. And let's say what I'm going to do with this text, I'm going to drag this in and I'm going to make it bigger. Okay, it's good to kind of resize things, it just adds a different effect to that. Um, more text. And I'm going to show you how you can animate these um, this text to kind of fade it on. Okay, so to create like a kind of basic fade animation, what you can do is click on Edit Path up here. And you'll be able to see on the slides, now we have these um, shooting star icons. And they're also over on these slides here as well. So you can simply click on that one. It's on the third slide or that one there. And then what you want to do is you can click on the text. And you have to see they've got this kind of star next to it. Apply fade in effect. And you want to click on the text in order from when you want them to fade on to the presentation. So if I show you now, when it comes to the slide, when I'm presenting, if I use the arrows on my keyboard, it's going to um, basically show up like that in that order. Okay, so that's pr a pretty cool effect. Let's jump onto the next slide. And let's say... Um, begin adding text or something like that. I'll change it up like there. Well, oh, actually, I don't like that color. I'm going to move that background. Okay, so simply double click anywhere on the canvas to add text. Okay, cool. Great, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in using the roller on my mouse. You can also come over and put your hover your mouse over on the side and you can use these um, buttons if you don't have a roller on your mouse. And what you can do is actually zoom right in and add in more text. Okay, so if I come back out now, that text is kind of hard to see. You can even make it smaller if you like. Um, but yeah, so what you want to do, you can create different slides as well within these slides. So um, for example, you come over to this, you're, on, you're back on this slide, you're going around, you're going through that, and then you come over to this slide. What you want to do is zoom into these different points. So what, to, what you want to do to create new slides is simply click on Frames and Arrows, Draw Invisible Frame, and what you can do is create little frames like this one here, it zooms right into there. Whoops, let's make it a little bit bigger. And again, Draw Invisible Frame, and we'll create one here as well. And you can create, you know, like circle frames just like this one or um, rectangular frames or bracket frames as well. Okay. And as you've got to see now, when I come to this slide, it zooms right into this text here. So some kind of secret text that you can't really see and then off onto this one and then obviously back onto the next slide. So that's a really cool way that you can add in, you know, more zooming effects to make it more engaging. Um, let's say add in 
arrows. So if you want to kind of point to each slide, you can add in arrows. To do that, um, what you want to do is click on frames and arrows over here. And you'll be able to see we've got draw arrow. So I can simply come out and maybe I want to, if, if these arrows weren't there, I wanted to, or maybe I wanted to point to a different part of my slide. I simply click on draw arrow and I'll click and drag and there's my arrow. If I click on that little box in the middle, I can bend it. Um, I can also move it where I want to go to. Um, and this kind of just basically points people to the next um, bit of information that you want to use. Now over here you can see what these um, decrease arrow thickness and increase. You can make it thicker if you like. Make a really fat arrow or a th really thin arrow. It's up to you how you want it to do it. And also you can go ahead and change up the color. Um, I think that that purple one looks nice because it suits that. Okay, so what you can do is add in some more text here. And you can go ahead and add another arrow. And bend that as well. Maybe change up the color. That's good. And you can also add in, um, or you can highlight things. So you can like kind of basically draw a highlight over top of things to emphasize something like that. Um, you can add in lines, so maybe you want to click and just kind of um, underline something. Just simply click and drag. It's that simple. It's really, really cool. Go to next slide. Okay, so you're just clicking and adding in your text. So for example, I mean, I haven't really done this that well. You know, I've kind of just rushed through this, but um, as you can see, it's really simple. I'm just showing you the basic techniques that you can use within Prezi. Um, and if you want a more in-depth tutorial on Prezi, um, I've created, as you would probably know now, that um, I've created a really cool... Um, course on Udemy and because I really want to help you out I'm going to give you a massive discount um, so you can click on the link below and there's a massive discount to that course um, and it's only available obviously on this page but yeah it's really going to help you out um, and quickly so we'll go on to this on to the next slide maybe you want to kind of zoom around this um, this place so what you want to do is go ahead and click on the draw invisible frame you want to go from this one first draw invisible frame and let's say we want to go to here because the arrows are pointing that way and then again draw invisible frame so as you're about to see we come to this slide it zooms in here we can see the arrow kind of points to that one arrow points to this slide and then obviously we'll come back out to the main one and the final slide is this one here so the solution or you can say um, go to Prezi and sign up with the account. Now I'm not, <laughs> I'm not really, I'm not working for Prezi or anything. So if it sounds like I'm trying to get you to go to Prezi, I'm just, <laughs> uh, you know, I don't work for Prezi. I don't get any affiliate, any, any affiliate money or anything like that. It's just I really um, highly recommend Prezi because it's a really cool software. Okay, so what you can also do as well, just quickly, the other basic features. So you've got the highlighter tool. You can highlight text. Just simply, obviously, as I showed you before, just just click and drag and draw over it. Um, draw the line and draw arrows, you know, these kind of themes, draw draw frames, you can go images, shapes, diagrams, you can add in YouTube video simply by clicking on there, adding in your YouTube URL and insert it and it will insert to your presentation. Um, and yeah, I guess that's basically the main kind of thing. So it's pretty simple. Another cool thing that you can do if I just zoom right out to show you a bit better, if you click on themes, you have to see we've got all these different color presets, so you can click on there and it'll update the whole, um, the whole basically presentation to, I don't know why that white background's there for some reason. Normally that kind of changes, um, but yeah, let's go over a look, see if it works for a different one. Okay, for some reason that white background's there, I don't know why it's there, but as you can see, it changes up all the colors um, on your presentation. Um, hopefully it doesn't happen with you with that big white chunk of background, but. Um, that's a really cool way that you can do that, change up the colors, give it a more unique feel. And just finally, if you want to go really advanced, click on custom current theme, customize current theme, and you can go ahead and choose your own background color. Um, so if you don't like those preset ones, you can go and grab your own background color. You can go ahead and click on replace image and find an image and you can change that background image. I like that one, it's pretty cool. Um, you can also add in a custom logo. And that's only if you have the upgraded account. So I think it's like $4.95 a month for the upgrade account. But you can also get a free upgrade account by referring three friends to Prezi. And that's really simple to do. Um, so simply just post on your Facebook page, you know, your, your referral link. And when you get three friends to um, sign up, you get a free three-month trial um, version of the advanced features. 
um, you can go ahead and change up the the head like the titles and the text fonts and things like that so you get three ones you can choose for for the default on your settings and you can change up the colors as well um, also change up the arrow and line colors and the marker all these kind of things you know it's not really important but I'm just showing you what you can do and change up all these things as well okay so yeah that's basically how you go ahead and create a presentation um, and go ahead and you know create your first presentation with Prezi. You'll see how easy it is yourself. Um, the best way to learn is to actually go ahead and apply your practice, um, your things that you apply things to. <laughs> what am I saying? The best thing to learn is by practicing things. Okay. So over on the left hand side again, just quick overview. We've got this um, these slides where you can go through and create your own slides using these frames and uh, frames over here. Um, up the top, we've got the insert button where you can add in images, symbols and shapes. Actually, I haven't gone through this. So symbols and shapes have got basically a whole bunch of images you can use. So you can simply click on them and drop them onto your canvas. Um, use those if you like. So there's different styles and things like that. Um, what else have we got? So YouTube videos, you can add in a video from YouTube. Or you can add in your own videos from your files. So simply select one from your desktop and add it in there. And change up the theme. So it's pretty simple. We've got these options up here. And you know these are the slides you're going through. Now once you've created your, your presentation, what you want to do is open up your screen recording software and click on the present button and you'll be able to see we've got this really clean looking presentation without all those markers and things like that and um, I don't really like the look at this with the green and the white background um, but as you can see we can simply click on there and go through the presentation but what I like to do when I'm recording my presentation what I do is open up, I turn on my screen recording software then I'd click on the present button and then I'd move my my mouse over onto the side and then I'd use the arrows on my keyboard so you know you got those arrows pointing to the right and to the left and I'd simply go through and I'd start talking I'd say first you got to sign up at Prezi I'll click on the arrow and it'll go to the, my next slide I click on the arrows and it brings up those um, effects where they kind of fade in and I'll click on the arrows I'll zoom into the frame like so and it's that simple you're just basically you know using the arrows on your keyboard while you're talking um, to go through your presentation just like so. So go to Prezi and sign up with a free account and have a go yourself. Um, if you need, if you've got any questions or anything, you know, give me a message. I'll help you out as much as I can. Um, and once you've created your presentations, then what you want to do is begin recording them into videos. So once you've gone and, you know, create your presentations in Prezi or PowerPoint, jump to the next video and actually jump over. <laughs> Not literally, jump onto the next video and I'm going to show you how to record your videos into uh, your presentation into videos it's really easy and uh, you're gonna be able to do it so um, go ahead and create your presentations and jump on to the next video